it was UConn and Duke in the national semifinals. And early on, it looked like all Huskies on this night. Dank kicks it right to Dockery. He fakes, looks, skips across court to Redick. Redick, an NBA three. Side of the rim, no good rebound, Armstrong. Duke now one for 12. To Leek Brown, lead pass, Villanueva catches it, lays it up and in. Great look by Brown to Villanueva, and the Huskies on top, 15-4. I love the Huskies' body language right now. They have control of this game defensively and offensively. Donnie Marshall filling in for the mayor that night. Wayne had voice issues, but he was invaluable helping the broadcast with stats and the like. But Emeka Okafor got two fouls in the first four minutes. Jim Calhoun set him out for the rest of the half. When he came back in the second, the Mighty Oak played well, but it looked like the Dukies' night. Front fakes the three, kicks it left on the wing to Ewing. Ewing against Talik. Brings it back out, 4.50 to go. Ewing on the dribble, gets a double screen up top. Heads to the right, spots up for three, and he hits! 74-3 of the year by Ewing, who's got 11. But UConn chipped away, and Okafor got UConn within a point with 1.18 to go. It was still a one-point game on the Huskies' next possession. Huskies have no timeouts left. Talik Brown dribbling at the center circle. Starts left, penetrates all the way, kicks it left, inside, out the force, jumper, no good, tipped by Boone, it's loose, grabbed by Okafor, and he lays it in. Okafor puts you kind of one, 25 seconds to go, 76-75, and Duke calls for timeout. After a Duke miss, Rashad Anderson stepped to the line, trying to make it a three-point game. Anderson dips, Anderson shoots, Anderson makes. Huskies up three, 78-75. Here's Duhon out of the backcourt. Penetrates, gives to Redick. Redick with six, an open three, he's short. Rebound, Okafor, and he's fouled with three. 3.2 seconds to go. Okafor would miss the first free throw on that trip, keeping it a three-point game. Okafor. 17 points on the evening. The 18th will get UConn a Monday night. And he does. He hits the free throw. Inbounded. Duhon on the right. He's going to hoist a three, and it hits it. But it's too late, and UConn goes to the championship game. That late 12-0 run turning the game in UConn's favor. Okafor scoring all 18 of his points in the second half, sharing game, game scoring honors with Ben Gordon who set a school record in the win with his 243rd three-point field goal. And you know, Bobby, a big point of contention in that game was Jim Sadameka with two fouls. Um, Mike Krzyzewski played the Williams kid in the first half with two fouls, and he got his third foul in the first half and was basically useless for the rest of the game. It's not, as we'll hear a little bit later on in the show, Jim didn't always stick with that strategy, but he was really a firm believer that two fouls, you sat the rest of the first half. Right, and I watched that game in New Orleans, and you could see how antsy a Mecca Okafor was to get back off uh, the bench and play. And one big bone of contention late in the game, Duke, I thought, you know, with the lead, are they going to make free throws? They'll win the game. They never got to the free throw line during that whole stretch where UConn came back to win. Yeah, and that was a big point of contention after the game from the uh, people from Duke that uh, they weren't getting the calls. And in uh, 49 other states and three-quarters of the state of North Carolina, people think they get the calls all the time. So uh, 